Hi and welcome to another edition of Math with Mr. Douglas. Today we take a look at the LCM, that's right, Lowest Common Multiples. Are you ready to get at it? Here we go. Welcome back to another edition of Math with Mr. Douglas. What are we talking about today? Today we're talking about multiples. Yes, this is the uh, big brother or little sister, whatever, the opposite basically of factoring, which you can see in some other videos um, and that kind of stuff. Uh, and we're talking about multiples. Uh, the thing that we're going to be thinking about is the lowest common multiple. So the lowest, the LCM, the lowest common and multiple. So first off, what's a multiple? So what is a multiple? A multiple is just going to think of your times table. So let's take a look at a very famous number, 7. 7 is great. And um, 7, if you think of the multiples of 7, is when we start timesing them. So you're, this is your, your 7 times tables. So the multiples are basically things like 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, and you can just go on forever. But we do not have time to do that. But we have time for a new drawing. Yes, I have had a request for another little animal, so uh, we're going to do one of the uh, one of my more favorite kind of little guys. And uh, this guy right here, you can see maybe you can guess what he's already kind of turning into here. There we go. Um, and we can give him a little, let's give him a little hat. Because a little hat is always kind of cool. Let's we'll kind of go like this. I'm going to shade this little part here. I'm a little buggy kind of guy. And he's a happy guy though. I mean, he absolutely loves that he is in this video. So um, here's his little face. And he is ecstatic. He's famous. He's going to tell all his friends um, about this and that kind of stuff. And you know, if you're doing this in your notebook, you can shade him and that kind of stuff. He's a little sluggy guy. He crawls around. Um, he likes to do math. So we're going to talk about the LCM, and we're going to go back to the idea uh, when figuring out the LCM. We're going to back to the idea of the sled. So again, if you're in Canada, um, you have to go and ride sleds in the winter, and you, of course you wear your toque, which is kind of like your furry hat. And uh, let's see how the sled will work with finding the LCM, the multiples. Okay, so here we go. So if I want to know what is the lowest, which is the first one, the LCM, of let's say numbers like 3 and 4. Now you can do it the old school way and literally go and list them all. So you could go and list all the multiples, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, you know, you list about maybe about 6 or 7 um, until you find the one that comes up the first. Now I know you've already seen it, right? You saw it on the screen there. And you say, oh, what's the LCM? The LCM is it's 12. So the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. Yay. Cool. Well, 3 and 4 is pretty easy to do, though. But if, if you have uh, like the LCM of, let's say, some harder numbers, maybe, oh, I don't know, how about um, 12 and 18? Which wasn't too bad, really. But um, let's say you wanted to do 12. And 18, what's the lowest common multiple? You could do it that way, or you could do the sled way. The sled way is awesome. Let's do the sled way. I'm not going to change um, colors for this. So the sled, if you don't remember, you start with the lowest number possible, except for 1. That can go into 12 and 18, and that's going to be 2. That leaves you with uh, 6 and 9. And is there any other number that can go into 6 and 9? Yes, there's 3. And if you divide that, you get 2, and you have 3 there. And then you stop. Now, remember back to the GCF lesson, you would go and just multiply 2 and 3, and there you go. But for the LCM, oh, this is going to be exciting. I'm going to get, ooh, let's get a nice little purpley, violet kind of color. You are going to multiply the entire side and bottom room to figure it out. So it's going to be 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. Uh, some people might want to write it like this, 2 times, uh, like 2 squared times 3 squared, okay, if you really want to be fancy like that. But 2 times 3 times 2 times 3, what would that be? 
that would be 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 3 is, that's right everybody, it's 36. So 36 is your LCM. What? You want to see another example? Okay. Let's go and see another example. Should we get a little guy in here? I think we should. There we go. Let's see how I draw the hat this time. And I think his face wasn't done very well last time, so. There, he's really happy. Okay, he's like, do another one, do another one. Um, little slug, he likes math. Um, can we do, um, let, let's do two more, let's do two more. How about we do, um, what's a good one to do? How about 16 and 36? Because 16 and 36, I don't think it's super obvious what the LCM of 16 and 36 is. Because I, I don't know, I don't know my 36 timetables to you. So we go 8 and we go, this is going to be 18. And this will be 2 again. Remember, always start with the low numbers. Always go low. 3, 9, then boom. That's it. Let's go and multiply all of these ones together. Right, so it's 2 times 2 times 4 times 9. So... That's going to be 16 times 9. That's going to be a pretty big number then, right? So 16 times 9, I think that's going to be 144. So you see how quick that is if you use a sled method, 144. There you go. Now what about uh, triple numbers? What about numbers that uh, have stuff like this? So 20, 32, and 18. So now we have three numbers, exact same thing. So I'm going to say that's going to be two. No, it's always is two or three. Something like this. And um, then, can you do anything? Hmm. Well, this one's going to be um, a little bit harder. Can you can you do any more of these ones? Um, I don't think you can. I don't think you can. But how about for a few of them? Could you do it for a few of them? How about 10 and 16? So for 10 and 16, you could, couldn't you? What would 10 and 16 be? 2. And you still have um, that 9 there, don't you? Like this. And there you go. So that is still kind of what happens there. So you can see you can kind of do it for part of them, for, for partial of them. So for this one, you're going to go uh, 2 times 2 times 5 times 8 times 9 like that, times 8, times 9, it's going to be a pretty big number. Um, 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 8 is 160, so you end up getting 160 times 9. Now, for all you mental math kids out there, if I did do 160 times 9, eesh, I would think of it as 100 times 9, and then 60 times 9, that's how I would think about it, because that's not too bad to think about. That would be 900, and this would be 540. So that would be uh, 14, 1440. Just like that. All right, so hopefully that helped you with lowest common multiples. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Math with Mr. Douglas. Hopefully you figured out all of the multiple questions that you may have had. Until next time, have a great day.